New from us at five, the Sarah Land City School Board approving new security upgrades for the new school year. Fox 10 News investigative reporter Brendan Kirby at the News Center for us right now. And Brendan, school security, certainly a hot topic all over the state. Yeah, that's right, Byron. It sure is. This specially called school board meeting taking place a day after the Mobile County School Board met to discuss security in that school system. It's every parent's worst nightmare. Go, go, run, run over there. And school officials say the prospect of a mass shooting keeps them up at night, too. Local superintendents have had the summer to contemplate the security of their own schools since a gunman in Uvalde, Texas, killed 19 children and two teachers. A resolution approved Tuesday authorizes changes to better control entry into the Sarah Land System's four school buildings. Every day that children are in school and uh, make sure with the multitudes of people that come in and out of schools that they are directed in a, a certain area and at the same time, if necessary, be able to lock the building down quickly and efficiently. School shootings aren't a new problem and Superintendent Aaron Milner says the system isn't starting from scratch. He says the school system has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on security improvements over the past few years. He says the system has armed school resource officers in the schools and adds that Sarah Land police officers make random visits throughout the day. Our number one goal, even above instruction, is the, pro the protection, the safety of our children. The Mobile County Board of Education on Monday discussed a number of options, including arming the resource officers, hiring more of them, and applying for grants to pay for new equipment. Spokeswoman Renee Phillips says the system currently has 14 resource officers, at least one for each of its 12 feeder patterns, and is looking to hire at least one more. The Baldwin County school system is one of the few county systems in the state to have at least one armed school resource officer in every school. Some schools have more than one. These are trained police officers and sheriff's deputies. System spokeswoman Chastity Riddick says the buildings have locking mechanisms at the front doors to control access. She says the system is working on improving those security measures, but isn't yet ready to provide details. The odds of a shooting at any particular school remain small, but Superintendent Milner has experience with rare events. He was an assistant principal in Enterprise, Alabama, when a tornado killed eight students in 2007. I think we're going to always err on the side of how can we do our best to keep them safe within reason. Now, as for the Mobile County school system and its evolving school safety plan, officials say there's no timetable on making decisions like whether to arm the resource officers. From the Fox 10 News Center, Brendan Kirby.